evening, good morning, good afternoon, my dear Ashes. I hope you are all well and all doing great. Thank you for supporting my channel once again. This video is again suicide. So please, if you're fidgety about the subject, I'm sorry, but this is the channel. Caitlin Nicole Davis. I've been seeing a lot of her again recently. I don't know why, but I've been seeing a lot. Okay. Now I thought to myself, what would you have said to that girl? And again, I'm going to make a video what I would have said to Caitlin Nicole Davis. I would have said my precious baby, because she was only a child. You're beautiful, you're smart, you've got a great heart, you have siblings that love you to bits and one day they will grow and they won't be as impossible as they are now. Things will get better, you will be hurt a thousand more times, but don't worry, you get over it. Especially boys, don't go searching for it now. It's trouble. Take it from an old woman. I mean, I've, oh, should I have known what I know now, back then, I would have become a nun. Honestly, a nun. I'm fed up with men. No, I'm not going. I'm just, I just need a break. I need alone time, but I can't. I would have said. You're talented. Work on that. Because she was talented. With the right uh, direction and the right lessons, she would have gone so far. I would have said you only have like six more years. Then you can be out of that house. I would have said just hang on. Again, just breathe. I would have said embrace life. I would have said you can do it. You're strong enough. You're not useless. Anybody who says that needs to think again. You're beautiful without or with makeup. You need to focus on yourself. Stop looking for a man to complete you. You need to complete yourself. You need to keep living. You're okay. Don't listen to everybody. Listen within yourself. Listen to your heart. I would have said so many things to that precious girl. Would it have made a difference? I don't know. Would it have made a difference if a lot of people told her this? Definitely. Please listen to people around you. Listen to their quietness. Listen to everything they do not say. Maybe they're just quiet. Maybe they cry. Maybe they have anger issues. Everything as is a result to something. So think about it before you judge. Think about it. Try to help them instead of criticizing them. Try to be there for them. Tell them, I'm here for you. And please, folks, try and keep your kids off social media because that is just an awful place. It's a place where you can put any face on your profile and you can be anybody and you can play with people's emotions. Not only teens, but adults as well. But unfortunately, adults, we make our own decisions. Some of us need supervision. I agree with that. But <laughs> we make our own decisions. We, we like me, I, I subject myself to this. I subject myself to dislikes and bad comments and stuff. But I'm here for a reason. I'm here to give a voice to those who don't have a voice anymore and to give a voice to people left behind saying 
It's awful to be left behind. When that person should have still been here. When if you as a survivor, as a person left behind, should have just listened, looked, saw the signs that you missed. It's incredibly hard to see everything. It, you, you can't always see it. When you go back, you, oh yeah, but that, oh yeah, but that. But then I can tell you how many people I saw with that same thing that pushed through. That it's, it's a very difficult subject. I think that's why it's such a stigma to it because it's an extremely difficult subject. You can't go talking to somebody that's depressed without the right form of qualifications because you can say this and that person decides, okay, you said it. That's why I don't talk to people directly. I mostly focus on survivors and just trying to get the stigma lifted a bit. Even if it's just for one person or one person sees my video, sees she really loved this person. He ended his life prematurely. And she said by it, she really loved him. Maybe somebody loves me too. If I can do that for one person and I can make them decide, you know what? If you all, I'm living this life that was given to me, then holla. I just stole somebody's tag, I think. But, yay. I keep watching so many videos on YouTube. I think I'm stealing a lot of people. I'm sorry, I'm not really stealing, it's just when I hear something, I can, yeah, I can, it's like that with accents as well, I can like return like that, if I watch videos too much, I turn like that, the accent goes with it, it's just a personality flaw of mine, so I'm sorry, but anyhow, I think my message is out there, please, tell people you love them, even if you think you're embarrassed by it, a family member will love you ever. Since my friend's death, I've told my mom and dad every night, I love you, drive, drive safely, see you tomorrow. And I don't care if they, my dad is all awkward about this because he's like, love you too, you know. And I'm like, I'll say it because you know what, I needed to say that to that one person and I didn't and he died. And forever I've been thinking if I had just told him I loved him. And now I say it. I say, I love you. God safely. See you tomorrow. And I pray to God every day that I see them tomorrow. And so please tell the people around you. You love them. Tell them you care. Tell them you're there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking if you like. Thanks for subscribing if you subscribe. Which way ever. Um, see you again next time, guys. I'm out. Bye.